Welcome to Kermit Uncut, where it's time to start counting down my top 10 least favourite films of the year so far. That's from January to June. In the blog we just did previously, we did number 10 to number 6 of my favourite films of the year. Here are the stinkers. Maddie, what's going on? They're coming. Who is? Who is coming? And straight in at number 10, Poltergeist 3D. Now, I know what you're going to say. Some of you are going to say, Mark, that film is not that bad. I mean, there have been many worse films than that this year. Yeah, there have been. There have been nine worse films than that this year. But what bothers me about Poltergeist 3D is this. There was no reason to remake Poltergeist. All the remake does is give it 3D, which doesn't add anything, take out all the Reagan-era satire, which was pretty much the best thing about the film, and remind us that even the first time round, bits of Poltergeist looked a bit ropey. Honey? Sir, back away now! I didn't do this. Put your hands up! Now! Number nine in my rundown of my least favourite films of the year so far, it's time to say hello Liam Neeson and welcome to the chart Taken 3. They took his daughter, they took his ex-wife, they took him. Now they're going to take his daughter, hang on, didn't they already do that, after doing something even worse to his ex-wife. But he will find them and he will kill them. Again and again and again. All you have to know is they're innocent. If you give me two days I can prove it. I can find out who did it. You may very well be innocent, Mr. Mills. But that's the court's job to decide, it's not mine. My job is to bring you in and let the law take its course, that's it. Good luck. So all I must do is show up and I'm presented with a credit card. No wonder your country's in financial ruin. Do you need help with your bags? No, I do not need help with my bags. I have a bloody manservant. Now, it gives me no pleasure to tell you that number eight is a film starring one of my favourite screen actors, Paul Bettany, although, admittedly, the blame for the film doesn't lie on Bettany's shoulders, but upon those of Johnny Depp. As Mordecai, Johnny Depp plays a cross between Terry Thomas and Paul Whitehouse's 13th Duke of Wimborne, and he is absolutely insufferable from the opening credits to the end of the film. According to the Lionsgate chairman, this has franchise written all over it. Really? Seen the box office? Oh, I believe I've just shot John. Excellent shot, sir! Man down! Hello? Beverly. Thank you. You betrayed me. My men are already there. You will die in that room tonight, Everly. Which brings us to number seven, And Everly, a film which made the briefest of appearances in UK cinemas before heading directly to a DVD shelf near you. If you thought the Tarantino Rodriguez grindhouse project was abort, then believe me, you ain't seen nothing yet. This is one of those films that makes you go, guys, we grew out of the video nasties era, like 30 years ago. Charlie Three, tell me you have eyes on Firecracker. Confirmed. Firecracker is heading north towards the market. Take the shot. What? I say again, Charlie Three, take the shot. And rounding up this first instalment in my rundown of my top ten least favourite films of the year, at number six, Age of Kill, the latest magnum opus from the makers of Vendetta. Remember that film, Nick of Time? It's like that, only not. Martin Kemp is the special ops man who receives an anonymous phone call telling him to do some really disturbing things, although what was really disturbing for me was the fact that I didn't realise the phone call was meant to be anonymous. I mean, it was so obvious who it was, I thought we were all meant to know. Turns out we weren't. Oh well, there we go. Still, worth seeing for the fact that it does contain the line, these Asian geezers from across the water, proper naughty they are. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. I don't want your thanks. I don't, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've done. I, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. I, and I don't want you to look at me. Don't look at me. Stop it! So, just to recap, in my list of my least favourite films of the year so far, at number 10, Poltergeist 3D. At number 9, Taken 3. At number 8, Mordecai. At number 7, Everly. And straight in at number 6, Age of Kill.
I know it's hard to imagine that there have been five worse movies than that this year, but believe me, there really have. Tune in next time for Kermit Uncut to hear number five to number one of my favourite films of the year so far.